So here we're making lists of perfect squares, perfect cubes, first, fourth, and first, fifth powers. So we can reference them as we talk about finding higher roots. So we're in the middle of a list of perfect fourth powers. So 2 to the fourth is 16, 3 to the fourth is 81, 4 to the fourth is, let's see, 4 to the fourth is 256, and 5 to the fourth, 5 to the fourth is 625. So these are the only numbers between 0 and 625 that have perfect fourth roots, 1681, 256, and 625. You see, there aren't very many, and you get very large very quickly. Let's look at perfect fifth powers as well. 2 to the fifth is 32. 3 to the fifth is 243. 4 to the fifth. You can see again with fifth powers these are getting very large very quickly is 1024 and 5 to the fifth is 3125 okay very large numbers since I'm talking about fifth powers here okay so let's look at the definition of a principal nth root of a number so the index n in this radical is the nth root. So if I'm looking at, um, for example, this one right here, it's a third root of 64. These are cube roots when they have an index of 3. The index for square roots is 2, and we usually don't write the 2 if it's going to be a square root, but I must write the index number if it's going to be a root other than a square root. So for a cube root of 64, I look at my perfect cubes, 64 is the perfect cube of 4, so the cube root of 64 is 4. 4 to the third power is 64. Okay. Now for the negative cube root of 1 8, it's going to be negative. We didn't put 1 in this list at all because 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and so on. So the square root or the cube root or the whatever root of 1 is 1. Now 8, 8 in the cube root, the cube root of 8 is 2. This will be negative 1 half. Okay, and let's go to the next page. Now I've got some cube roots, some fourth roots, and so on. So this is the third root of negative 1,000. Now remember that if you have the square root of a negative number, like the square root of negative 1, that's not real. Because you can't have a number squared to give you a negative. But you can have a number cubed to give you a negative. Three negatives will be negative. So it's OK if, um, to have a cube root or an odd root of a negative. Um, so three negatives will give you what? A negative, so the answer is negative. And a thousand, it wasn't on our list for cube roots, but we know there's three zeros, so it's going to be ten, right? When you take ten cubed, you'll get ten times ten times ten is a thousand. So the cube root of negative one thousand is negative ten. Okay? The fourth root of negative sixteen. I need four somethings to give me a negative. Four negatives are a positive, four positives, so this is a positive, so this is not real. You can't take the even root of a negative number. Odds, it's okay, because an odd number of negatives is still negative. But an even number of negatives will uh, square or fourth root into a positive. So nope, can't do that. But I can do the fourth root of positive 16. Let's flip back real quick to our list. Fourth roots of 16 is 2. Okay, so the fourth root of 16 right here is 2. The square root of 16 is 4. Okay. Negative the fourth root of 256, we can do this. Negative the fourth root of 256, that is 256 in the fourth root, so 4. All right. And if I don't have that list handy, I can use my calculator too. So let's look at the calculator version of this. I can't use the square root button because it only does square roots. Instead, I'm going to need to go into my math menu. There's a button here for cube root. There's a button down below for x root. Now to use the x root button, let's hit it. It um, needs me to put a number in first usually. So since that number wasn't there, we're going to put this number as the root, which I didn't want. So fourth root of 
256. So another way to do that, to make sure you get it right, is you're going to type that 4 first for the fourth root, then you're going to hit your math key, go down to that x root, hit enter, and you can see the 4 popped up right there of the 256. That would be the correct order of typing is type the 4 first, then go in for that fourth root. Okay, so you can get it that way. Uh, the fifth root of negative 1, let's try that one as well. We know it's going to be negative 1 because 5 negative 1's multiplied together gives me a negative 1. But let's uh, just verify that. So f the 5 first for the fifth root down to the xth root here. That 5 pops up in the corner, good, of negative 1, and it should be negative 1. Okay. That's the end of the section.